Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us, sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. So, if you guys do not know, child, Trina's out here once again looking for a viral moment. So, Trina was on a podcast. You know, these podcasts, he getting folks in trouble. And um, she just decided to say that Beyonce is the number one female rapper when she decides to rap. It was just very odd. I, I don't understand what Beyonce has to do with rap. She's rapped a few times. I would never consider Beyonce a rapper. But let's go ahead and listen to what Trina had to say. Thing. Why do you think now is the time? Like, what do you think there's something specific that happened in, in music and culture that kind of opened the landscape for more female rappers to rise to the top? Yeah, Beyonce. Because she's like the number one female rapper when she does rap. So I feel like. I feel Listen, like... This is, people do sleep on Beyonce when she oh, does no. fit. There's no sleeping on the queen, okay? There's no sleeping <laughs> on the queen. Um, it's just one of those things, like, of course, this is the queen's Beyonce, but when you hear her do a song and it's rapping involved, it's like, oh my God, like, it just, it's, it's more inspiration and, um, I don't know, it's just a good thing, man. I just, I feel like for the girls now, and when you hear them and when you look at them, it's just all different kind of music and it all yeah. sounds different. And, you know, um, we all come from different places, almost kind of like the same, same kind of, you know, bring, upbringing. But then you just branch out and you just have different, you know, everybody's from a different city, different state, have a different struggle, different hustle, different, yeah. you know, story to tell. So, you know, I just love to see it and hear it. Even it may not be the best to whoever, to some of us, but when you look at it, you appreciate it more. Cause it's like, okay, wow, she went through this, she did this and boom. Girl, why she act like Beyonce got a whole rap EP? Girl, all right. So of course, social media was dragging her. Um, and then her cousin, decide to go live and have her back. So we're gonna go ahead and listen to what Bobby Lights had to say, child. He was hooping and hollering and screaming. Unfollowed her almost two years ago for her showing love to another female rapper. Your fave is not a girl's girl. Trina, on the other hand, is a girl's girl. Trina don't give a fuck. Matter of fact, Trina don't give a fuck about any of the competition right now. Trina honestly did what she needed to do years ago. She went platinum, she went gold. She did what she needed to do years and years and years ago. When you had to sell cassettes and teeth and, and CDs. Y'all remember Specs Music Store? Y'all remember the CD stores that you, you would go in and you remember the, you remember when albums used to drop? Lil' Kim, Eve, Missy Elliott, Trina, when they would drop, people would be lining up in Target, in the stores, in the malls, in the CD stores, in the, in, in, in the um, wherever the fuck they sold CDs to line up and get that CD and then they'll get an autograph, it'll get a sign. Yeah, she was pushing units then. I'm talking about 228,000 first week. Okay? So, I think what it is is y'all mad Trina's not impressed. Or Trina is not kissing nobody's ass the way y'all expect her. Why the fuck would Trina kiss anybody's ass? And I'm never going to mind my business. And I'm going to always put my two, two cents in. And I'm going to always speak my motherfucking mind. And I'm going to always wake it up. Yeah. So T is... Yeah. Old girl unfollowed her first. Why? Because she was mad that she showed another female. I'm not even going to. I could be real messy and say the names. But I'm not. I've, I've already given you guys enough information. Mwah. All right, next. Um, now this is very interesting here. So then Trina responded and she said this. You know how when Trina responds, honey, she loves to cuss folks out. She said, for the dusty, crusty, funky bitches in the back. Beyonce is the queen of raps when she raps and all other genres of music. Now stay mad, goofies. I said what I said and Nam bitch gonna check me, carry on. And then somebody found this old clip of Trina. You talk about Beyonce mm. like you're a pointless, lifeless waste of a social security number. That's mm. my name. <laughs> Period. That's how I feel. You talk about Beyonce. 
Okay, so obviously Trina's like a huge Beyonce fan. I get it. We all are, you know, like Queen B. I think Beyonce's a dope artist, but let's let's keep it real, okay? Nicki Minaj just dropped the album. And y'all know I'm not, I'm not no big Nicki fan, you know, but we did a review on the Pink Friday too, and I liked it. I thought it was a good album. There's plenty of songs on there I'm still listening to that's in my little rotation. Um, and we all know that Trina and Nicki no longer get along because back in 2019, they were working on some song. I forgot the name of the song. Y'all can write it in the chat. But Nicki said that she did a verse for Trina for free. And then Trina wanted Nicki to like, you know, pay for the um, video. Nicki didn't want to pay for the video. And then I remember like Trina's um, A&R, you know, someone who worked with Trina, they came out and they were kind of like, you know, spilling tea on the situation. Then Trina had to come out and try to, you know, diffuse the situation. And they really haven't been rocking with each other since, right? So I don't feel, yeah, Baps, thank you. Good job, good job. Baps was the song. Um, so I don't feel like Trina owes Nikki anything. Because if, if I don't like somebody, I'm not mentioning their name. Like to me, y'all know me. If, if I fall off with somebody, if I'm not cool with you, you don't exist to me. And I'm not going to mention your name just because you know, you got some shit going on. I don't give a fuck about you that much. So I get her for not saying Nikki's name um, because she doesn't rock with her. They're no longer cool. But Miss Trina, there are plenty of other women that you could have chosen, okay? On top of that, like, how goofy is your self-esteem to not choose yourself? Who do you think is the best female rapper? Shit, bitch. Uh, Trina? I don't need that nigga jacking me, uh, 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 stopping me, climbing all on top of me. If he ain't gonna fuck me properly, there's got to be, possibly, a dick that ain't too soft for me. And then get your ass up off of me. You know what I mean? Like, Trina was that girl back in the day. So this is no shade. Y'all know I'm a big Trina fan. Trina had that first album bang from start to finish, okay? So that's my thing. Like, why I would have said myself, you know, call it arrogant or whatever, bitch. I done put in work. I've been in the game damn near 50 years, however long she's been in the damn game. Um, I would have said myself, baddest female rapper, me, myself, and I. You know, so it was just weird. Like, I, I just felt like the Beyonce thing, it, it just, Beyonce's not a rapper. Like, let's, let's start there, right? We all love Queen B, but can we stop acting like she's like the bar for everything? Yeah, it, okay, she's ready to, at the bar for singing. Y'all got her at the bar for dancing, not for rapping. Beyonce has probably rapped a few, like a handful of times. Like I, she's never dropped a whole rap album. I know Beyonce be minding her business, child, trying to teach Blue Ivy the latest dance moves, and y'all keep dragging her name into stuff. I just felt like that was just not only shade towards Nicki because, like I said, I feel her not wanting to mention Nicki's name because they're not cool. So if I'm not cool with somebody, I don't mention their name either. I don't give a fuck. But... She could have said so many other names. Missy Elliott, MC Light, Queen Latifah, Little Kim, Lauren Hill, Foxy Brown, Eve. My girl Eve. Philly, Philly, Philly. Philly, where I am from. Like that first Eve album was so hit. It was so on fire. It was, there's like just so many other people. So to me, it's almost like she was also shading all the rap girls. Because you know damn well Beyonce is not a rapper. Nobody looks at Beyonce and considers her a Jay-Z. When we say Beyonce, you think about songs that Beyonce has sang. The only rap song that ever comes to mind for me when, if you say, oh, Beyonce and, and a rap song, would be the song that she did, I'm a Savage, the remix with Meg Thee Stallion. That's the only rap song that even comes to mind for me, like right off the top of my head. So I just kind of felt like that was just, it was shade all the way around and... You know, yup, Rhapsody. Thank you, uh, uh, Melevant Elephant. Yup. There's just so many other choices. And even if you don't want to shout out the new girls, because these new girls, I don't know what the hell they be on. But at least even the girls that she came in the game with. Like I said, Eve, Missy, all of them. You know, Left Eye. You know, there was just so many other choices. And this is why I just feel like the female rap game is just, it's a mess. The, none of them really get along. It's just, you know, they're just collaborating just to be collaborating, but there's like really no real friendships. They're just using each other just to put out music, just to try and, you know, bring their fan bases together. Then they end up falling off. 
So I, I, I just, I don't know. I just didn't like it. I just felt like there was just so many other choices, even if she didn't want to say Nikki. I don't think she had to say Nikki. You know, the barbs were like, oh, well, she should have said Nikki. Nikki got an album. She's so jealous of Nikki. If I don't rock with some, I don't rock with them. So I don't think that she owed Nikki anything as far as like saying Nikki's name or saying, oh, Nikki is the queen of rap. We all know that at one point in time, she really looked up to Nikki. Because remember, let's not forget back in 2013 during the BMIs, she paid tribute to Nikki. And I remember everybody was looking at her like she was crazy. Like, why are you paying homage to Nikki? You're the OG. Nikki should be paying homage to you. So we know at one point in time, Trina was a big ass Nikki fan. They're just not cool no more, okay? But I just I just felt like it was just, that was shady towards all the women. I don't think it was just shady towards Nikki. Yes, Remy Ma is another one. I just feel like there was just so many people that she could have named if she didn't want to name herself. But I think first and foremost, she should have named herself because Trina was definitely the baddest bitch at one point in time. Yeah, that was just weird. That was just weird of all people, Beyonce. And then she knows she's wrong, but she's trying to double down by going in and calling people, you know, out their name and, you know, saying all this stuff, you know, calling people dusty, crusty, funky. And, you know, if you're proud in your decision and that's how you feel, there's no need for name calling. She could have easily just came out and be like, y'all, that's how I feel. I feel like Beyonce is the best rapper of all time in my Kanye voice and left it alone. But the fact that she's cussing at folks and going off, you know, makes me feel like she feels like she knows she was dead wrong for that. And she doesn't like the backlash that she's currently getting. So that's how I feel about the situation that I don't know. I just miss like back in the day, like I felt like the women artists, like they really were cool. Like it didn't come off as forced. It didn't come off as fake. It didn't come off as I'm just trying to use you, you know what I'm saying, to like, get with your fan base or I'm trying to just social climb using you because let's not forget that ladies night song it was fire you had Missy left eye even Angie Martinez she wasn't even really no real rapper like that must be Angie on the mic butter pea honey got the sugar got the spice you know what I mean she was on that song like I just felt like back then it was just it was more genuine when like the when the female rappers collabed and they really not say they didn't have their beefs right because you had the Nikki Foxy Brown beef and all that stuff but I felt like you know when they did collab and work together it was a bit more unity and it's just been very, very divided ever since. And I just hate that. I hate the fact that it's so, so divided now. And, um, you know, Trina didn't help that. She didn't help that. I think she should have just kept it real. She knows damn well Beyonce is not a rapper. Nobody considers Beyonce a rapper. Beyonce is a dope lyricist. She's a dope singer. Um, you know, she's a writer when she's not, you know, having other people write for her. She has written some really good songs. And she, she's a visionary. I think she has like a lot of visionary when it comes to like her music and her body of work and she takes it very, very serious. And I like the fact that she still somewhat has that mystique about her, like old school celebrities. I don't wanna know what Beyonce had for lunch. I don't want Beyonce posting her and her family every single day. I don't wanna see her going live. I like the fact that Beyonce has that mystique about her, you know, but I just feel like this was just too much. I'm, I, I can't agree with Trina. And I get Bobby trying to have his cousins back, you know, because that's his cousin or whatever. But, like, nobody's taking Trina's accolades from her. But people are just saying, like, you know damn well this was such a reach. When there were so many women, even if you didn't want to say Nikki's name, there were so many other artists that she could have chose and gave flowers to, in my personal opinion. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.